Kachan, you don't understand anything anymore. You're naive. I never took you for an idiot, but you might just be. And why the hell is that? Why does everything with you have to be so damn complicated? You're acting like this is all about you. But it's not. We're all in danger here. I get that. You don't understand how much danger. Let alone the fact that he's alive. I've seen him. He's definitely alive. And who's manipulating who now? Are you sure you're not just believing in some delusions that you want to? Because sometimes that's what it sounds like. Damn Deku! Kachan, you can't win. You can't win because someone taught me something. The hell? You're not acting like yourself, you damn Deku! That's not like you at all. Since when do you take others' opinion and ignore mine? I thought we were friends. Till you tried to kill me! How did we even get here? Sometimes I wonder that too, Kachan. But there's nothing we can do now. Now that everything's been set in motion, not even I can stop it. But I've got to try. It'll probably kill me. Then why are you going to a death sentence, damn Deku? Because I don't have a choice, Kachan. If you'd realized it sooner, maybe you'd understand. But this isn't about us anymore. It's about what... what's going to happen if we don't... take them down. The fake heroes. You're sounding like someone else! Was he a fake hero too? The one you're fighting through all this for? Huh? Is All Might a fake hero to you? Kachan, don't you utter his name. You're just like everyone else. You thought I was crazy. Why would I trust someone like that? There is only one worthy of my time. And even then, I don't know. I don't know anymore. What if they're like you? What if I trust them? And all they do is turn around and kill me? Who would I have to blame? All the blood on my hands. I have to make it worth something. They are my everything. What don't you understand, Kachan? Life's not just the flowery existence we thought it was. There's a lot of it that we just can't... We can't control it. I get it, Deku. That's why I'm telling you not to give up. Don't take a damn death sentence. If you need my help, I'll help you in... No, Kachan. Not this time. Not only can I trust you, but I don't want you to... I don't want to have to kill you. So stop fighting this. Let me handle this. I got us all into this mess in the first place. If I hadn't done what I did, then... Then... Then what, you damn Deku? What would change? What part of all this is your fault? You made a mistake and that's that. Doesn't mean that you're a villain. But it certainly doesn't mean I'm a hero. No. I can't accept my actions, Kachan. There is nothing I can do. The only way is by making this right. The only way I can make this right is by dealing with them firsthand. Who is it you think is up to this? Look, I get it. The Heroes Association has some dirt on them. Hell, even our old teacher tried to kill me. But that doesn't mean there aren't real heroes. It doesn't mean you have to fight a war on your own, damn it. 
kind of dumbass does that? A dumbass like me, Kachan. A dumbass who only has one thing left. I guess too. I have the fear of what I could become if I keep going down this path. You don't know this, but there's something in me I can't explain. I don't feel bad hurting people. If I view them as bad, I just... I get so angry, and with one for all, I... I could kill them outright. And what do you think that means? You can control yourself perfectly, Kachan. It doesn't change a damn thing. You'll never understand this because you're so damn perfect. You don't have to deal with these problems. You haven't killed anyone. <clears throat> that doesn't mean I haven't done things I regret. Doesn't mean that I shut it, Kachan. Before I do something I can't take back. I don't even know how you found me. But you, Anita, and Karishima, and everyone need to leave me alone. I've got my allies. More than I'll ever need. As painful as it is to say goodbye, I need to before I hurt you. And just who's gonna be hurt? You think I can't take you, you damn Deku? No, Kachan. I know you can't. And that's what scares me. You've been my friend since as far back as I can remember. And now more than ever, I... I'm sorry. But I need to do this. I need to stop this before I end up like him. You know, part of me thinks I didn't really kill him. Part of me thinks that wasn't just a dream. That it really was him. All for one. Not just someone looking like him. It was dad. Shut up, Deku! Doesn't matter about that! Quit focusing on all the nonsense! Focus on me if you have to! That's what matters! Otherwise, you're gonna get all kinds of messed up! And you saying that like... Like I haven't done what I've done. Like I don't have... No. Never mind. You clearly don't get it. Someone as innocent as you, Kachan, you could never get it. You talk big and you talk about being this killer, but do you know what it's like to actually do it? It haunts you. Or it doesn't, and then that haunts you even more. That's where I... I can't be like you anymore. I want to. You have no idea how much I want to. But I can't just magically will it into existence. You can't just make something appear when it goes away. It's not that easy. Life isn't that easy sometimes. That doesn't mean that you... You have to isolate others. Who give a shit about you. Damn you, Deku! Why can't you realize? You're my best damn friend! I know, Kachan. And that's exactly why I have to go. Because I'm not gonna hurt my friend again. And I'm not gonna be a villain. If I ever do, you have to promise me something. If I ever lose myself, to this monster inside me. Please, Kachan. You have to... Don't talk to me that way! Damn Dekel! I'm not gonna do this! You're asking me to do that! How could you... How could you think I could? Because 
course you have to. If I lose myself anymore, you're the only one who might stand a chance. I can't depend on anyone else like that. And I wouldn't burden my brother with that. He's the only one who I think might be hurting more than me. The difference is he's strong. And I want to be. But I know deep down, it's not just me anymore. It's all of that guilt. It's taken its own form. What don't you get, Kachan? This isn't just a game anymore. We're not playing cops and robbers, heroes and villains. None of that even matters anymore. Instead, everything's just falling apart. I'm falling apart and I can't depend on you. I can't depend on anyone. Except for my two... The two exceptions. Then what's it gonna take, Deku? What do I need to prove to you that I'm a third exception? Do I need to kick your ass? Show you that I can? Come on! Try me! I'm not giving up on you! Even if you run away! Kachan... Stop... Right now... You can't save me... Then who says? We haven't tried everything, you idiot! We haven't tried everything... Damn it, Deku... Why'd you have to go and get stuck like this? This isn't like you at all. Then you don't know me right now, Kachan. You don't know me at all. You did. You really did up until that point. But when everything started falling through, when I had to bear the weight of all of those lives, when I made that choice, how could I not regret it? And to think, there was a life lesson there. Don't devalue anyone's life. And yet here I am. I still can't agree with it, even if I know it's the truth. How do you think that feels? What separates me from all for one? He chose, you know, he chooses who lives and dies, who gets powers and who loses them, He's playing God. And what's to separate me from him, huh? Go ahead, tell me, Kachan. Since you seem to know me so well. Because you've got heart. You're a hero. You've saved so many people. Since we graduated, everything's been fine. If you take away that one mistake, you've been a good person. Even if they mistreated you, even if I did wrong, it doesn't take away from who you are. You're damn Deku, and you're stronger than this. I wish I was, Kachan, but I need to go, and you can't follow me where I'm going. No matter how hard you try, there's just no way you could. Not because you're incapable of physically. Not because you don't have good intentions. I trust that you do. But because where I'm going, there's no going back. Then you're gonna drag me down with you. Cause I'm not going, you idiot. I'm gonna reunite with you. We're gonna be friends like we used to. And if you can't deal with something, then you damn tell me. Dumbass! You don't understand, Kachan. I'm not backing down from this. And if I have to fight you, right here and now, then I'll make a bet with you. If you win, you can come with me. But if I win, you have to keep that promise, no matter where your heart lies. If I lose myself, you have to be the one that stops me. 
I don't care the circumstances. I don't care what it takes. You don't let me become that monster. You don't let that monster reign over things. Doesn't matter what I become, okay? You were a great friend, Kajan. And I want you to always stay true to who you are. A lot of people thought you were a bully. A lot of people thought you were picking on me, but I saw the truth. Actions speak louder. You said some pretty cruel things. But you always were there. You were always there helping me. Even if you felt betrayed by my sudden quirk. Even if you felt I was hiding it from you, you still stuck around. And I know how you felt. Betrayed. Confused. Feeling like I was making fun of you. But I wasn't, Kachan. I never would. I looked up to you. Just like to All Might. And in a certain sense, I still do. Even if I can't be like you, I still envy you in the sense that I... I want to. Then why are you complicating it? You damn dumbass. It's not that hard to be like me. It's not that good. I've made my fair share of mistakes. I've made a hell of a lot of them. Don't you realize life is about picking up the pieces? It's not about not making them. If you break something, you don't just leave it on the floor. You pick it up again, dumbass! Damn dick girl! You better get it through your damn thick skull! I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up no matter what you do! Kachan, don't make me. Don't make me hurt you more than I have to already. If you think this brings me joy, you're sorely mistaken. No part of this does. Not even a single word. Not even a single action. I just... I can't. Not with how things have gone. This is... the end. The end we've all been looking for. A finite peace to everything. Everything we've lived up until now. And if I don't stop it, you weigh, as well as everything, everything that is the Heroes Association, it's going to be taken down from the inside out. Look, do you want that? Do you want friends? The friends that still live. Do you want them to have to fight each other to the death? Do you want us to all be at each other's throats forever? I may not trust them. Maybe I resent them for not believing me about All Might, but that doesn't mean I want them to, to have that kind of fate. Kachan, you have to understand, this isn't just, it isn't just about us anymore, it's about the whole city, maybe even the whole world, and if we don't continue, if we don't do something about it, who's gonna stop him? You tell me, with all my incapacitated what do we rely on who who Kachan who's gonna save us we don't have any instructors to depend on anymore we're not in class anymore so who go ahead tell me how wrong I am that we have to stop it dumbass I was never telling you it was wrong to think that we had to stop it. No, I was saying that you're an idiot for taking it all on your shoulders. You feel responsible. I get that. But you think I couldn't have done something too? Everyone is at fault in their own way. 
And it's also everyone's responsibility to take down those that would harm our loved ones. You're not the only one with someone you care about. Damn it. Why can't you understand? <sighs> you just don't get it. Not at all. No, I get it, Kachan. But things are getting out of hand. What else do you think we can do? If I were to give you a place in all this, all it would lead to is you getting killed. I don't want to see you die. You're one of the few people who I... I honestly wouldn't like to see it happen to. That it would bother me. That it wouldn't just be a nothing. You know, way back when... There was something that gave me a lot of hope. But I know... I know now that it's just... It's just what, Midoriya? <laughs> I see hot. You're just as guilty as him. The hell are you jumping out for now? It's quite simple. He has something I need. I don't have time for you. Shoto, don't get involved in this. You don't get to say that. And you didn't lose your loved one. Yet. What? What are you saying? Shoto. You didn't. You didn't do anything, did you? No, I didn't. But I might have to resort to that. Depending on what you do. You both are idiots! Taking everything to the tenth power like this? What does it really accomplish? We were all friends once, weren't we? You don't get to talk. You're spoiled. You don't have to deal with half the things that... And just who decided what's hard and what's not? Everyone has problems, damn it. And you're just using that as an excuse. You're on a high horse. Telling people that they're below you. Isn't that right, Prince? And just what do you know? Tell me. Katsuki Bakugo. Have you watched someone you love fade away in your arms? Have you watched the one reason you draw breath beg you for a solution? A cure to their pain. And all you can do is tell them a lie. A lie you don't even believe. That it's going to be okay. What do you think that feels like? Oh, I'll tell you. It's indescribable. And through it all, watching those moments, it taught me something. The world won't change unless you grab it by the throat and you squeeze. And that's just what happened. That's just what needs to happen. Shoto, you didn't. You wouldn't have done that. That's not what, you're not, no. It can't be, you're not like, you're not like that. You don't know me anymore. Midoriya, we've grown apart. We've grown to be enemies. Purely by our conflicting interests. I only care about them. And you need to help me. Did you touch them? Tell me you didn't touch them, Shoto. Like I said, I've done nothing yet. They're unharmed. For now. Is this what you were planning? To take advantage of your former friends? 
At least I had the decency to not involve them. Trying to save everyone. What don't you get? I don't care about everyone. I can't trust them, don't you realize? This world is rotting. And I refuse to let the one thing keeping me sane rot along with it. Shoto, if you touch a hair on their body, I'll kill you. As if you could, dear friend. If you did that, then who would help you find them? They'd sooner starve to death, and then what would happen? You should take that back. You said nothing happened to them. I believed you. I don't think you understand any of this. You two idiots stop this already! Otherwise, you're gonna lose everything. Everything you hold dear. Why are you even fighting with each other? Isn't it simple? None of you can be trusted. You ran away from me. You changed everything. And it could have been any of you. Any of you who did it. Any of you who caused all of this. Even if you didn't know it. How can I just forgive you? You are completely deluded if you think I will. Now I think that's quite far enough, you two. Or should I say you three? I don't have the time, nor the effort to go picking your entrails off the ground. Nor am I planning on losing any more loved ones in this lifetime. Look. Both of you need to stop. Being at each other's throats, no matter what you see it as, is going to be pointless. Firstly, Midoriya, you're an idiot. What do you think you're doing trying to fight Bakugo? Who just found you and was trying to offer you help. But I need to do this. I need to do this on my own. He doesn't understand and... Who gives a damn about understanding? It's another able-bodied pair of hands. More than that. You. You. Have some learning to do, don't you? Tsk, tsk, tsk. My dear Todoroki. I had brought someone along to help you cool your jets. One of your favorite people. Your dear older brother. There's no reason to go and fight your friends. Why waste the effort? You've got real villains to worry about. And what do you know, brother? Or should I call you Toya? Since we've not been too well acquainted. <laughs> Whatever works for you. But I'm going to say, this all needs to stop. All of you are behaving in a way that's immature. You're not acting your age, and instead, making trouble for those who are. And what do you know? You were previously a villain. I get it, you're doing something good now. Can't you see that I'm doing that too? I don't need it to hear it from you. And I know you're not bad anymore, but damn it, these idiots! They just gotta stop this. Stop it before they end up with all this nonsense. We're all gonna end up killing ourselves before we end up. <sighs> Never mind. Tch. Dumbasses! Stop all of this. It's not that easy, Kachan. 
Oh, but it can be. We all just agree to have a mutual enemy. We do, anyways. Both the League of Heroes and my lovely assistant, uh, who has exited and stolen away most of the League of Villains, that's also the biggest problem. We're a group working independently, and we need to figure out what we're going to do. But I trust you all will end up getting along if we solve each of your individual problems. It's really simple. I have the means to make it happen. Plus, I want some good old sweet revenge on Daddy. Of course, that's not the only thing. There's a bigger purpose in this. Even to you who's lost it, you know what it's like to have a purpose that's bigger than you, to have people you love and care about. You don't need to give up. I'm here to tell you, because I've had ample time to give up myself. And I didn't. And you all call me strong, but I'm probably the weakest of everyone here. Do you know why? Because a little known fact is, I'm the only one of you who's truly lost their, their love. I've lost more than all of you, except maybe Midoriya. But it's all relative. You lost a bunch of friends. I lost my entire family. Oh, did I say lose? I meant I disintegrated them. Yes. Does it sound familiar? We've all had loss, and we all know what it tastes like, and it's not very good. Now I suggest we quit wallowing over our self-pity and all of our putrid little ideas of what this world is, and we work together, and we build something. We build something that's actually worth it. That way, when the end of the world happens, we can at least be happy we tried. Or what do you know? Maybe it'll all work out. Whatever the case, we won't know until we can, we can get to the bottom of it. Oh, and dear old dad isn't the only one I want to punch in the face. I could use a good slug in there for another, you know, my ex. There. Not exactly my favorite person right now, for obvious reasons. You know, backstabbing, stealing the whole thing, taking all your friends away, it's, it gets on your nerves. But putting that aside, are you all willing to, well, be cordial enough to work with me? And why should we trust you? Oh, we're best buddies. Of course you can trust me. Unless you'd like to lose your supplements that you give your oh-so-loved one. Is that a threat? If so, you should watch yourself, Tomura. You may be my friend, but you're also his friend. The feeling's mutual. Do you really think that I would... No. Why don't you tell him to give back my love? And if anything happened to her, I'm killing him. Right here, right now. Oh, you wouldn't have to do that. There could be another way. And I'm sure he wouldn't have done something that stupid. That's basically suicide. Even he should be aware that he's not going to beat you. At most, he's gonna slow you down. I could win. Oh, keep deluding yourself. And what do I have to do with all this? I only came for Deku. And you'll stay for everyone if you want a place in the group that's going to save this damn world. <laughs> 
I guess it's better than being at each other's throats. But how do I know I can trust you? I haven't betrayed anyone. I learned from my mistakes, unlike my dear old dad. I'm not some heartless... Well, I can be heartless, but only to those I think don't deserve the care. Unlike some of you, I found stability. I found my place. And my place is helping undo the pain that I caused. But not just something so lofty as that. No, I have much bigger plans. Particularly the fact that I was going to suggest we all make a organization that can function in a way irrelevant to hero or villain, past or present. We would be the future. <laughs> it all sounds so great. But what about what you're saying? Is believable. Oh, don't give me that. Do you really think I don't have the resources? Oh, no moves. And with that, you can see just a fraction, the tiny pinky finger of the group. My brand new wave of Nomus, each with roughly the strength of an All Might. Well, most of the strength of an All Might. That's just one of the many things I have in waiting. Of course, I've stopped making Nomus the insatiable way and only use those who deserve it. I trust that gets rid of that pesky moral gray area. Yeah, well, I was gonna join Dobby's crew. So what do you say, boss? <laughs> Me, anyone's boss? No, that's a riot. Sorry, Bakugo. You're gonna have to make choices on your own. I've got an underground to take care of. And while I can offer minimal support, at least to the idea, I can't leave them to their devices. That's why I need help. Perhaps we can make a deal. Bakugo could be the representative. The tie between our organizations. Not that we were on bad terms or anything, but it would put us on better. Sounds good enough. Besides, you can't just go abandoning things, I get it. As for the rest of you, I have something very interesting to your goals. You want to take down these corrupted systems, yada yada yada, fix the world, all that. Well, except for you, Shoto. You just want your loved one to be okay. They're still breathing, right? Yes, for now. But each breath seems more labored. Time grows of the essence, and I need more, Shigaraki. Why is it people always use the last name? When they want something, just say my damn name. Anyways, that's because they built up a resistance. And quite a staggering one at that. Plus, we're dealing with someone who's a little bit beyond my science. We'll have to enact the help of someone more talented, at least in the medical field. Someone like this little fella over here. What a strange way of introducing an old friend. So, I'll hesitate to shake your hand. I'm sure you understand. No harm taken. Uh, no offense taken, rather. As for you all, I think you need to understand something. I can fix you. 
each and every one of you. Fix what ails you. Except for maybe Midoriya. There's a good reason for that. It's not so easy fixing the brain. And what you have, you have to solve on your own, I'm afraid. I can see it here. That darkness makes me think of myself, my own struggles with the demon. If you ever need help with what I do to contain it, I'd be happy to offer a hand. Tch! I still can't wrap my mind around it. All of you. You're doing better than the heroes. It's embarrassing! But I guess it's also fine. I'm not one to judge someone based on their past. If you've really changed, then I'll trust you. Look, Deku, you've got these wonderful people around you. So stop trying to do everything alone, dumbass. Kachan, I get it, I just... You're just nothing. You're being a dumbass, admit it. It's not that, I just... I didn't know what else I could do, and... And I... I just... That's enough, you two. If we're gonna be working together, it's as simple as one, two, three. You don't need to make everything so... touchy about it. I get that you're best buddies or former ones, but you'll have time to mend that once we decide on the more important things. As for now, I think tension is high. Shoto, I expect if you want any more help from me, you'll return our dearest Midoriya's love. I didn't give you permission for that in the first place, so you're lucky. There's good reason for it. I needed his help. Did you try asking? No, but he couldn't be trusted. Now you're just sounding like a desperate idiot. You're so smitten by them. So duty-bound to fix your love that you're besmirching everyone else's. Let me ask you something. Would they be happy with how you're treating your former friends? That's not. No, it is. You have to keep in mind what that loved one would have wanted for you. You have to honor them, even if they're still alive. It's not like they're not there in heart. And what you did was belittling any feelings they might have. I never intended to. I only care about making them healthy again. And besides, you gave them that... I gave them the best I could. Now, if you really want to fix things, why don't you talk to my buddy here? It sounds to me like you're letting all that stress get to you. That's not going to cure anything. Instead, why don't we see to it personally? I would appreciate that. Also, Midoriya, I... I didn't... I didn't take them. I just planned to. Then... Sorry. Just never do that, okay? I realize we're not at the best terms either. You were my friend once as well. And that means something. I suppose I have let myself get out of hand. It's just the pressure. The threat of somebody betraying. The threat of losing them. I understand. 
Because I know that feeling. Now, go. Save them. Everything will be fine. You've got help now. We all do. Kachan. Yeah, you damn tech girl. I'm sorry. I'll trust you more, too. T took you long enough. I may have made mistakes. We all have. But that just means we're learning. You can't learn without making them. Some kind of bullshit that would be. Now, if you're really sorry, you owe me. A catch up on what happened. <laughs> Kachan. What the heck is a ketchup? That's a condiment, you silly. Look, I'm not real good with words. Don't have time for that. Damn, the girl making fun of me even now. <laughs> and I'm not taking you up on the damn promise. If you want to deal with that kind of serious, heavy stuff, deal with it on your own. No friend of mine is going to give up that easy. Now, get over here, you damn deco. Kachan, I... Oh. I guess I did kind of need a hug myself. Shut up, deco. This is a one-time thing. Thank you, Kachan. Ah, oh, group hug. Damn it. Don't do that, Tomara. Aw, oh, man. And it was just getting warm and fuzzy. What? You think I would disintegrate you? It's not really that. I just... I think that it's more like the threat of it. But that's the allure. That's the whole draw of me. That's why everyone loves me, right? Uh, I don't think that's it. Looks like this one's still crazy. Don't let your guard down. He might give you a drink that makes your hair grow long. Or worse, one that gives you rainbow-colored toenails. Just what kind of monster do you think I am? I'd do that if it was requested, maybe. But... I'm not going to just give you something like that. Then what was with that serum you gave to my love? Well, you see, I thought maybe if we make them into something that's a little more resilient, they'll be able to fight it better. Unfortunately, there were some side effects. Sorry about that. I suppose it did save them, so there's no need to apologize. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along like a happy family. It may not seem like much, but it's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you, too. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you sooner. <laughs> That's my line. Did you forget I'm the older brother? Idiot. <laughs> brother, I... Shut it. There's no sense in apologizing. And I know it's what you're trying to do. What's done is done. We're here now. Live and kicking, aren't we? Yes. I suppose that's true. You still got a lot to learn, brother. And that's fine. Just don't go dying on me. And the same goes with you. We've only just been reunited, and as much as I despise father, he's done nothing but try and make up for his mistakes. 
I think he finally realized, once he was alone, how terrible the feeling is. <laughs> that old man. I don't know if I can forgive him if I'm honest. But that doesn't change anything. Forgiveness sets you free too. So I'm not going to be petty about it. Sir. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I get you were hiding there for a while. It's... It's fine. I know what you saw. I have can't believe my eyes either. Come on, dumbass. You're my dumbass, aren't you? Going so soon. Well, I suppose it's fine. Just remember, we'll all meet back here tomorrow. Don't be late. But you didn't even say time. Oh, that's fine. Show up whenever you please. We're not some kind of military school or something. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Toodaloo! Don't have too much fun now. They're all dumbasses. I feel like I haven't given you enough time today. I'm sorry about that. All those idiots occupied my time and... Yeah, I guess I owe you one. Then again, I guess it's better this way than fighting. Now it's just to convey to the others and figure out how, how we're going to fix all this. Hey. Yeah, you. What other cuties are around here? I love you. You know that, right? All of the tragedies that surrounded my friends, they... It made me nervous about losing you, if I'm honest. I love you too much for that. Hey. Babe. That one's for worrying you. Dragging you out here. It was supposed to be a normal day. But things escalated. It's okay. Everything's okay now. I won't let it be anything else. All these idiots. They're... At least... Kind of doing the right thing. That's what matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Doing the right thing. Well, anyways. Why don't we... Spend our day however you want. I owe you one. Maybe I owe you more than one. Okay, it's probably like ten. Maybe a hundred. Shut up, you dumbass. <clears throat> you know it's only because I love you, right? After all this, I'm pretty shaken up. I just want to get my mind away from heavy stuff. Because honestly... Between the thought of losing you and the thought of losing my friends one by one, it all weighed heavily on me. I guess you could say I've had a bad day. Does it bother you? Your big, strong husband showing you a side like this. <laughs> I guess that's to be expected of you. Good thing I'm just as madly in love with you as you seem to be with me. And I kept my promise, didn't I? I took you with me. We got to experience all this bullshit together. Hmm. Yeah. What about it? It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. I'm just... Kind of glad not to be in it, just the two of us anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of people that still need saving. We gotta get our old friends out of the bad situation. But that doesn't mean we're in this alone or 
have to do it all at once. Right now, I just want a day to be normal. Let's go to a place where none of this matters. You always were a simple one. Though I guess that suits you. My beautiful, breathtaking love. I'll show you that your husband can take you off your feet. Sweep you right off him. And hold you just like this. Was there ever any doubt, dumbass? Good. Then you understand me. Come on. This way. Yeah, and what if I don't want to put you down? What if I like it better this way? Is that what you call revenge? Giving me something I want? <laughs> you must greatly underestimate me. And honestly, fine. I like proving you wrong. Because you have such a cute expression when I do. <laughs> Pouting at me? That won't get you anywhere. You think I don't enjoy that face too? <laughs> Who do you think I am? No, I'm not just your boyfriend anymore. No. I'm far more than that. <laughs> you underestimate me so much. You think I wouldn't do the same thing that they've done for their loves? No. I put them all to shame. Just watch someone try and put a hand on you. Watch as their hand blows right off. Of course I wouldn't hurt you. I'm good at controlling myself. Sometimes. Hey, why are you laughing? Dumbass. I'll keep laughing. And you'll get no ice cream. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have the authority. And why is that? Whatever. Besides, what's on your mind with a look like that? It's like you're begging to be teased. Is that it? <laughs> you're hopeless. Helpless in front of me. Though I think I like that about you. More than that. I want to do some normal stuff. A lot of times couples have... Well, you know, they just sit there and talk. And I feel like we haven't gotten enough of that. So if you have any questions, ask it. Doesn't matter what it is, dumbass. Do I ever get annoyed with you? <laughs> That's an easy one. N not really. Because, even if I get frustrated, it's not at you, it's at the situation. And what about you, pipsqueak? Tch. I just call them as I see them. But I'm a little happy you don't. Tch. Never mind. Well, I've got a question for you. What is it? What is it you want? In the long run? Do you care about the world? Is that your goal, something lofty? Or do you just want me? <laughs> Can't say I'm too surprised. But I accept it. Just like I accept you. Now come here. I can't just take an answer like that and not give you something special. A whole lot more special than a kiss. Come on. We're almost there. All right, cut the bull. I 
have you been happy with me? I've just been worried lately. I've had this bad feeling for some time. And I don't think it's you. But I just had to make sure. Sorry if it makes me look pathetic. But I I just want you to be happy. Live the life you want. I know more than anyone what it's like to be cooped up and expected to live a life that you don't feel passionate about. And you've been my first and strongest passion. Yeah. Then what about them? What do you think I should do? Should I show up tomorrow? Or do we just run away? <laughs> You've got some nurse saying that. Damn. But you're so right. I'm not the type to run with my tail between my legs. If destiny's calling, then I'm answering it. Thanks, babe, for telling me. I knew you were more than a beautiful face. <laughs> As if there is any question. You know I'm not good with expressing myself. So I'm just gonna flat out tell you. I just... I need you. I want you. And I don't want to be second rate about it. I don't want us to lack anything that other couples have. Maybe I'm a bit sensitive about it. But what the hell am I supposed to be? I don't know how to handle all these things. I know we've been married for a little while, but we're still fresh on it. And I could never get tired of you either. You're what I desire, or I would have never married you. Got it? No one can take that away. But I need to know. Are we going to be okay? And what you think. What you feel. I don't just want half-hearted things. I want all of you. Every last bit. All of the apprehension and everything in between. Come on, lay it on me. You know there's a million things I want to still show you. A million things I haven't gotten to. I want to take a lot of pictures. From all over the world with you in them. Let's make all the simple things happen too. Not everything has to be saving the world. Do you really want to stick with me through it all? I get it, we're a team. I'm not going to leave you behind. I made that mistake once and learned my lesson. That doesn't mean we're going to be safe though. I guess what I'm saying with all this is I'm nervous. Not only for losing you, but losing what you want to do. I don't just want you to exist in some kind of obscure world and place you don't want or drag you down a path you don't believe in. But I can see it in your eyes. That's not what's going on here. You're not just some kind of half-assed attempt at a person. No, you're the real deal. And I'll hold you to it. Don't think you can get away with just... just anything. I have expectations, you know. Yeah, so what if you've exceeded them? Doesn't mean it's gonna get easier from here on out. We don't know what we're dealing with. So it's going to take a while. But why not just celebrate while we're here? <laughs> That's more like it. It's fine. There's plenty of stuff we can still do. Besides, I... 
I'll never stop loving you. Tch. As if I would. You think if anyone even tries to lay a finger on you, they'll survive? You underestimate me. I'm the big scary boom boom man. At least the people who are gonna do you damage. Besides, I'm jealous of people touching you. You're mine, damn it. Somehow we ended up back home. Tch. I was in such an anger. I ended up not thinking straight. Oh well. We'll just have to make the most of it. Won't we? Tch. Always complaining. What are you? Like that old hag? Just, just a joke, dumbass. I know you're not like her. Well, you could be scary like her. And you're really good at putt putt. But that's not the point. Shut up and come here. We'll worry about all that later. I've got unfinished business with you. And you're coming with me. Psh, you're not fooling anyone with that attitude. You're madly in love with me, just admit it. Oh yeah? Well, I'll make you admit it by the end of the night. Psh, you're out to try better than that. Hate me all you want. I love you. Psh, blushing is just a... Just a symbol of pride. So you know it's true. Mm -hmm. How about that? Not at all. No. We're just getting started. Come on. Oh yeah? Wanna keep saying that? Why don't we make a bet then? I bet by the end of the night you'll say you love me. If I win, you, you've got to wear a cute outfit for a day. <laughs> yeah, and if you win, you get one request. As if that's gonna happen. Is that really all you wanted? What is that wish even good for? If you really want something from me, you could usually just ask, couldn't you? What? No. It can't be one of those... One of those sinister... Little schemes of yours? Why do you have a look like that old hag? I don't like this. No. Not again. We've done this a few times already. Damn it. The fact that I don't know. It's haunting me. No. You stand back. Why are you ransoming things like this? Oh no. Just... Just think reasonably. It, it's not like that. I just wanted to see you in something cute. I'm not... Not like that. It was nothing too crazy. I may be a softy for you, but that's it. Nobody else gets this. Just like no one gets my time. Now, just... Put away that scary face. Let's enjoy our damn night together. Could be something amazing if we let it be. But I guess it's up to you then. What's it gonna be? Hmm. <laughs>
Well, I guess we both win, don't we? I said it first, but you... You... You said it later. Besides, I... I think it's better that way. Then we both get what we want. <laughs> you just want me to be a loser so you can make fun of me. But I'm no loser. Not at all. So that's too bad for you. Well, I, I guess technically, yeah, but... Mm. Always trying to manipulate me. You know what? Fine. But I'll get you back for this. Here we go again. You know, part of me wonders if that's part of... Well, who you are. Being a pain in the ass. But I guess that's fine. It makes things interesting, but... Does it always have to be... So damn... Don't even have a word for it. You just don't know when to stop, do you? Well, fine then. I guess you picked up on my stubbornness, didn't you? <laughs> I guess I'm a little proud of that. It suits you. Just like you were suited... You know, by my side. What do you mean I stumbled on my words? No, it was a, it was a strategic pause. Damn you. Now you're just picking on me. Nobody picks on me. Yeah, so what if you just did? Like I'll let it happen again. What do you mean by that? No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't dare. No. Get back. I guess I'll let you off the hook this time. What do you mean that's every time? No, you are not pulling the wool over my eyes. Fine. You'll get what you want. But I refuse right now. Unless you're gonna wear something extra crazy. And I'll make you walk around in something... Something so ridiculously embarrassing. You'll never think of messing with me again. <laughs> I've got plenty of ideas. Like what if you walked around in a giant marshmallow costume? Or like a mascot. What then? <laughs> I knew you'd be scared. I would be too. Well, whatever. We'll settle this later. Just, just you wait. <laughs> 